That's really good. Squid tastes good. Sydney, we are in Chinatown. We got in last night and we hadn't done much today except we were really excited to come to our first Asian market that we've been to in almost a year. We are too excited to be here actually. We haven't really eaten much today so we are excited to get our hands into whatever this place has to offer us. So many street food dishes. We are so excited to eat. And we got it with curry and sambal sauce, but it's not just roti, it has egg inside of it, and we are just, wow. We haven't had this in such a long time. We miss Malaysian food so much. We are too, I am too excited. The sambal sauce actually has like a shrimpy flavor. Something we haven't experienced in a really long time. Mm. Oh my God, the curry. Like literally take me back to the Chinatown that we spent money in, in Malaysia, in Kuala Lumpur. This literally tastes just like it. speakers that yells at you since we're in China that just sits here and yells the order. Okay guys, I'm not sure what we've gotten ourselves into. We got squid. And I don't think Zach and I have ever actually had squid before. We know it's gonna be like a little bit chewy and that this sauce on it is gonna kick our butt. And neither of us do very, very well with a lot of spice. Zach does better. But I guess I'm trying. That is more tender than I expected it to be. And honestly, it tastes a lot just like, it's not hot. It, it has a lot of chili powder taste to it. It kind of tastes like Tex-Mex. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Zach, you're going to love it. That's really good. Squid tastes good. I hate to say it tastes like chicken. I guess it doesn't taste like anything. Because it's covered in chili. So it just tastes like chili. It doesn't taste bad. It's just a little chewy for me. What's the main what's the main taste? It tastes like cayenne pepper and cumin. It's like a tortilla chip dipped in salsa. That's what it tastes like. And there's like the tomato aspect. Yeah. I'm sorry to talk with my mouth full, but it's just so chewy. 
So we intended to purchase a crepe, like a Chinese crepe, but it kind of like looked like that barbecue and like vegetables in it, but they were out of that. So I asked her what I should get, and she said to get the noodle. And I was like, okay. And so what it was is like, it looked like a really long piece of noodle, like a, almost like a lasagna noodle. And they put it down on this like, flat top fryer. And they put an egg on it, and that cooked, and then they put some sauce on it, and that cooked, and then they like, put this like, hot dog looking thing in with it. What else do we have in here? It looks like there's onions, maybe some garlic, a lot of onion, maybe not garlic. But it looks really good, and it looks very filling, and I'm all about noodles. really biting into something, you know, it's not like noodles that you slurp, it's like noodles that you need to chew, like the really, really thick, kind of gelatinous almost. Ooh, and they're like, it has like a barbecue sauce with the onions. It's got a lot of flavor. It's almost like an omelet, really. Let's try some of this hot dog. <laughs> Mystery dog. It doesn't taste like a hot dog. I know, we've eaten some weird tube meat over the years. We can check out one of them in our China video in Dolly, but it's okay. I'm not scared. before but I've never gotten them because they've always been too expensive except here they're just the right price so I've been wanting to try this for years now the best way I can describe this is a juicy pancake it's like the batter on the outside it's very very thin and then the inside is just doughy and it's like you're eating a very very doughy pancake that's super savory and it's like I thought it was gonna be a puff ball and it really dried out but it's so moist that it's like almost like a dumpling Oh my 
my gosh, it's so good. It's like, I remember describing it kind of like lemonade, but like it's not at all. It tastes like sugar, but in like a fruity way. I don't know how to explain it. If you've never had cane juice, you need to try it. And there's, it's not really like readily available unless you're like in a Chinatown or something or in Thailand or I've had it before. But I got it with lime and ginger. Oh my gosh. It is so good. This is like the best way to like end the night with a refreshing taste in our mouths. It is so good. Items. We're taking two of them home with us for tomorrow because we're so full. This is the last thing I think I can eat. It's a green tea matcha bun. I'm really excited. Mm, sweet, doughy, tea flavor is very strong as expected. That is really good. Ooh, I am so full. Me too. I'm I feel like we didn't eat that many places, but I'm like surprisingly filled. I feel like we did. Would, would you guys eat this much one night? I feel like we I don't know. <laughs> And we also have breakfast here tomorrow, like everything's taken care of. That was amazing. Sydney Chinatown was so much better than we ever expected. I am really so glad happy. we made it here on a Friday so that we could do this. It's really not that big, like the mm -hmm. Chinatown itself, it's really like maybe four blocks. Mm -hmm. but, like everything we ate was really, really tasty and like nothing was very disappointing yeah. at all. It was yeah. So good. Definitely come here on Friday night for the market. It is it's a lot of fun. Get up. Oh no. Ah! Oh, the color. Yeah. It's got egg inside. What did I say? 